I am Dr. Sujata Tyagarajan, the lead pediatrician and pediatric intensivist based at Asta RV Hospital in JP Nagar, Bangalore. Um, the third wave is on. Yes, it's affecting uh, children and in the vulnerable group under 15 years. Um, some do's and don'ts if you find your child is COVID positive. Some do's, make sure you are in touch with your pediatrician. They will be able to guide you either through video consultation or recommend hospitalization based on your child's need. We are observing mild symptoms in majority of the cases, so fever, cough, cold, sore throat and that is limiting them from hydrating themselves. So I recommend make sure you have enough supplies of medicines for controlling the fever and uh, symptomatic care for cough and cold. Cough syrups may not make a big deal of difference and they may last for five to seven days. In terms of hydration, make sure that your child is given uh, fluids at least so small, freak, small amounts and frequently so that they are passing good amounts of urine. If they are having vomiting or loose stools, make sure that the symptomatic care is given for that and ORS or juice or soups, any such things can help them to hydrate themselves. We are not recommending any increased supplements for them. We are not restricting any activities for them and we make sure that uh, you identify where is your nearest COVID care center for children which has facilities for inpatient as a ward patient or as intensive care so that you can reach out to them if there are any warning signs such as breathing difficulty, poor hydration or excessive tiredness. I hope this reassures you about the do's and don'ts in uh, a child who is COVID positive. Um, we at Aster RV Hospital have facilities for outpatient, inpatient as well as intensive care and if necessary, if the rem remaining family members are positive, to get the COVID care all under one roof.